I need to borrow another lady from the audience, and I'm going to do that by throwing this rose three times. I throw it the first time, whoever catches it will throw it again, whoever catches it that time will throw it one more time. The lady closest to the rose after three throws will help us on stage with this next experiment. Here we go. That's the first throw. Good, give it a throw. Go for distance, anywhere you want. Not at me. <laughs> Maybe we should try this side of the audience. Here we go, here we go. That's the first throw. A light rose. Give it a throw, go for distance. That's the second throw. One more throw, the final throw. Any direction you want. Oh, all right, Mem, Mem, Mem. Do you have a ring on your finger? You do? Stand up and come on down. Have a seat, Nancy. Have we ever met before? No. No, we haven't. All right. I want you to um, hold on to this hourglass. Good. Just like this. Because we're going to zoom in. These are the days of our lives. <laughs> and these are Lee Press-On Nails. <laughs> Nancy, check out that hourglass. Really examine it. Make sure sand's flowing through it. Turn it upside down. Is the sand flowing through it? Is it normal? Do you like it? It's my hourglass, Nancy. I need to borrow your ring. I want the most valuable ring you have. It's the only ring you have. Is this, is this ring significant to you? What is it? Um, a souvenir. A souvenir. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> a souvenir of what? A trip. A souvenir of a trip. Where'd you go? San Francisco. San Francisco, I see. It's very pretty. It's a solid band. What, what is it made out of? Uh, silver. You, you think it's silver? Okay, it's silver. What kind of uh, stone is that? Marcasets. Mar Marcasets. Oh. Marcasets. What, what is? I thought that was a dog. <laughs> Mar Marcasets. Okay, everybody, get a good look at this ring. You all recognize it, just in case we should ever see it again. Uh, Nancy, hold on to this ribbon. I'm gonna thread it right through your ring, right to the center. In fact, pull on your ring. Make sure it's on the secure. Is it? Good. Because we're going to take your ring and place it in this ring box so we know exactly where it is. There it is, and there it'll stay. Nancy, I need your help. I need your left hand. I want you to hold on to the end of the ribbon right here between my hands. Hold it tight, hold it high, and don't let go. Because I'm going to try to make your ring vanish from that ring box and reappear on this hourglass. And I have less than this much time to do it. Now, I'm going to cover up the hourglass. I want you to watch me very closely. It's done. Give me one end of the ribbon. You hold on to the other end. Hold it tight. And don't let go. It's gone. Now, I said you were going to reappear on the hourglass. I didn't mean on top of the hourglass, no. I meant on the hourglass. Nancy, is that your ring around the center of the hourglass? Yes, it is. And is the sand still flowing through the timer? Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. This is Nancy's ring from San Francisco. She got it on her vacation. It's a souvenir. <laughs> You probably want it back. Well, this hourglass is my family heirloom. <laughs> but don't worry, we can get your ring off the hourglass with a little bit of magic. And this hacksaw. <laughs> We're going to break the hourglass to get your ring off. Before we do, I want you to take one last look at your ring, where it'll never be again. Right around the center of an hourglass. <laughs> Nancy, I want you to look. Amid all the glass and the sand, there's a ring. Nancy, yes or no? Is this the ring that you gave me 
It is? Thank you very much. I really like it. And you can have my family heirloom. Why don't you take the ring and my thanks for being so 